Welcome back, VST here, when I Tech, and in this video I'm going to test Samsung DeX running on the latest One UI 5.1 and of course here on my Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Now why? Because there are some new things, Samsung DeX and One UI 5.1 like multi-window, so we should be able to snap some windows in the corners guys. Yeah, let's just see this. Where? do we download this you should go to the samsung.com us apps dex i'm gonna put the link down below in the video once it's downloaded guys we need to install it and i'm gonna test it but let's just first read through here multitask between devices like bose connect your galaxy to your monitor or tv to bring it to life on the big screen and now just with your usb cable unlock your phone's possibilities on pc through samsung dex now i already downloaded it guys i'm going to install it with you together for the first time and let's see what is going to happen installation all right you can select the folder we need to press continue and now i'm installing samsung decks on the pc and if everything works smoothly guys the next time i am looping in my phone with the cable to my pc we should be able to see the samsung decks running so let's fast forward and start it while i'm installing let's just see some of the new features guys upgrade your day to day everyday project errands and tasks two screens at once guys this is something that i'm looking forward to like this snapping take multitasking to the next level in samsung dex mode you can take a close look at things like videos artwork and documents on a larger display which is actually quite nice watch movies on the monitor while checking text it should be really giving you this full desktop performance and experience looks like a tablet acts like a pc and bring Samsung desk to the computer. Okay, well, let's just see how this is going to work, guys. So, here it is. I'm going to press OK. Now, the Samsung client is already running here, and I'm just taking my phone, guys, and hooking it up to my PC. Okay, now, let me just see. I got a message. Should I start Samsung desk? I press now start now, and if everything works correctly, we should be able to enjoy Samsung Dex. It's, yep, it's there. Allow access to phone data, allow, and uh, now guys, I am absolutely running Samsung Dex, screen zoom. Now, okay, let me just try to open Chrome. Okay, I'm gonna go full size, Samsung Dex. All right, now it's a uh, browsing experience seems to be quite nice. Now let's try to play with some of the folders. Okay, let me just try to also open my Twitter. Twee, okay. So it really, really feels like you're using a Windows PC. Now let me just see how I'm able to snap. First things first. Okay, this is the opacity. This is uh, setting it to almost uh, transparent, to almost non-transparent. Uh, but I just want to see this new feature, like snapping. Uh, we oh, okay, here the one. All right, now this is one of the new features I was really keen to test. Now I got Telegram here on my right-hand side, and I'm going to open the Twitter. All right, so I guess this is one of the new modes, guys. You can potentially, like, snap these uh, two applications on a window, and it works quite nice. So let me just try to close that one. Let me just try to open Chrome right now, and I'm just going to try to also snap Chrome. So I got this already snapped, which is Twitter. So now how the snapping works, I just take the window, put it somewhere in the corner, and I just go full screen. If I put it into the up corner, it goes to full screen. But what happens if I put it here? Because if I drag this now to the screen i'm gonna get that one right so and now let's try to open twitter for example so i want to run these two apps in a mode like this so let me put that one here okay uh and now guys yeah i think that's it all right yeah that's still something guys so you apparently can just do something like this um yeah why not i mean i like the shadow here right so what happens if i close that one up the other just resizes let me just go inside my gallery. Uh, okay, let's open this one, guys. This should be 200 megapixel, uh, give it a take. So if you go to the details, you should see this is 21 megabytes. Now, what is interesting is, what will happen if I just hold my finger like this? Ha! Oh! oh my god, the cutout works also in dex mode. All right, quite amazing. So let me just try to share it. I'm going to share it, guys, on Telegram. I'm going to put it... Let's put it there, okay? Okay, wow. Now let me just go full screen on Telegram. And I'm just, oh, doesn't look that great, but I am, oh, yep, I am testing Samsung DeX object 
cut out. Okay, so my friends are now freaking out because they don't know what happens. Uh, but I just explained to them. Uh, okay, for example, like this. Okay, not bad. But you know what? Forget about the Samsung editor. I have something better, guys. I have Snapseed. Now, I'm just exploring the opportunity to be able to edit photos like a pro, you know, with using a mouse. Why not? So, I'm going to open... Let's open the cat here. This is it, I guess. All right. So... Ah, ha ha. Okay. I'm going to go for HDR Escape. Yep. And oh, okay. This is what I want to test, guys. If I go to the filter, I'm trying here the cogwheel on my mouse, but it doesn't really work. So yeah, but it works with my mouse. All right, let's check one of these videos, guys. This should be, I guess, 4K. Yes, it is 4K 60 FPS. Okay. So, okay. Just pressing the escape. Now that's shot with the zoom camera. It is actually quite nice, by the way. Aha, uh -huh, okay, and I can of course use the mouse. So it, it pretty much works really like you're using a tablet. So when you do some things with your mouse, it's just like swiping uh, with your finger. Now let's watch this one. This one is also 4K 60, uh, right? With some zoom. But I do believe it's a bit choppy, guys. So it's still not so perfect. Uh, and I'm, ha yeah, yeah, it's, it's not great, by the way. It's not great, but it is what it is, guys. So, this is not so much in real time. Let, let me just try to play some games, guys. I have the Temple Run 2. I'm going to open the game and just see how it works. And I also have sound in my headphones. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm able to definitely play the game. Just using the mouse like this. I cannot tilt, so... I, I can just... Can I... No, I cannot tilt. Also, I cannot play with a keyboard. Aha, uh -huh, okay, but I can do like this. Let's check some of my notifications. I can clear all of them. Alright, I can see the battery, I can see the connection here. Quick settings. I can resume what I'm playing on my TV. Device control. Cannot use device control while Dex is running. Now guys, can I go from device or media output and put it on my other speaker? So, yeah, okay, I have here some options, some heads, yeah, but I don't have this other speaker. But okay, it's cool, so it means that you can get full audio and video. I now want to see if I'm able to get sound output. Oh yes, I am! Okay. Honestly, I would not expect to see any difference that is because like I did test on the this here is a 4k 60 and, uh, test I told you, that I did a while ago and yeah it's it works quite nice by the way auto FPS off video stabilization off what happens here all right I can put it into the window we know, yeah, let's see which settings guys we have here so from here out of start use alt and tab for windows apps let's try to use alt and tab oh yes <laughs> you see, this is very good by the way guys. So if I minimize everything So let's say that I have opened several applications Let me just open Twitter. If I press the alt and tab I'm definitely going to get this although not very ideal, but still like Windows um, Switch experience so alt and tab all right, and I'm actually even trying to move them along Mm, not ideal. I think not all of the apps guys are optimized for Samsung DeX. Uh, let me just go back. I want to go back in the settings and see. So you can also try to do like this. Use an alt and tabs now for your Windows. So if you use this option, you're not going to get this option inside. But inside DeX, this is pretty much what we get. So let me just return one more time. Let's see how I can go to my home screen. So I'm pressing here, holding the button. Uh, I really hope to simulate like, nah, not able, but I can go and choose a wallpaper. Alright, because I wanted to rearrange some of my icons. No, not really. Okay, so here you have again your applications. Feels like a tablet. Here again we have this, uh, what is this? Is it the recent apps? Yeah, it's probably the recent apps. So if I click here, I can get an idea what I've opened. Alright, all of my open applications, guys. I can close all of them. And here we have the home. And you can go back 
and yeah, it's pretty much the way it is. So see, some of the settings are concealed, so you cannot go and change home screen, lock screen, but you can also go and, you know, butter in device care. You know what? Can we run, can we run, guys, a 3D mark from desk? This is going to be interesting. Let's see. 3D mark, Samsung Dex. Can we run it? So I'm going to put like a wildlife extreme stress test inside Samsung Dex. Let's see if this is going to happen. The benchmark is running uh, and the graphics really look weird but nevertheless it is what it is mm. okay the test is running though uh, but the frames are not perfect you know what yeah let me close this one is not good click here close what haven't we tested guys let's go and open YouTube so I'm gonna open YouTube Let's go to my channel, your channel. Let's go full screen. Your quality, quality, I can go full screen. Quality. Yeah, because I did raise some tests, guys. But let me show you how it works now. I didn't do anything inside the application. Oh, okay. The quality is 720p. Time, can I push it to 4K? I do so. Oh, I let you see. One, two, three. One, two, three. Test, test. Yeah, it's not bad. Hello. Yeah, Hello, it, it actually changed the quality, guys. Thank you very much. All right. Kill it. Now, guys, let's go. Yeah, yeah, it actually changed it, guys. So it's it's really good. It works. Uh, of course, my monitor is not 4K 60 FPS. The interface, the interface is is weird. Though you can just see like all your videos that you get. It it pretty much resembles really like a tablet use. Okay, let me just put it there. I can put it there. Slow. All right, I can. Can I move it out now? I want to move it out. Remove. All right, so I don't have Telegram now on my home. Uh, how can I put it? Probably like this? No, or click with the right mouse button. Or just drag it like this. My opinion at the end of this, it's just still too slow, but it's very handy. So if you want to edit your videos, your photos, if you want to play some of your games, you can watch your videos. If you have someone like a big monitor, um, why not then I just use Samsung Dex to get your output directly on a screen like this. So there are some use case scenarios you can play video files if you meet somewhere with the family or the colleagues. So there is definitely some real value here, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If that's the case, you know what to do. VST over and bye.